Now we know the different block setting which we can use using this simple add button. Now in this lecture I will give you a variety of ways you can add a new block to your blog post or a page. Now the first way you can add a block in your post or page you can use this simple add button. We know that how you can add this block in your content right. Now the next one is you can use this editor block inserter this one. When you click on it you can add a different blocks in your post. For example, when I click on this paragraph, this will add a paragraph inside this editor. And you can also notice when you hover on this paragraph, you have an option here to add another block just above this block. When I click on it, you can see you can add different block content just above this paragraph. Right? Now to insert a block, we have one more option. You can just click on this block. Let me add a paragraph here. And let me just add a content paragraph and you can see here we have here more option when you click on it you can add here insert before and insert after block using this more option so when you click on this insert before this will add a block before this paragraph right here you can also add a block just out of this paragraph using this insert after the shortcut of this insert after is Control alt y now just click on it insert after this will insert a block just out of this paragraph right here as simple as that let me just remove it by clicking backslash using a backslash you can remove a block from your post now the next way you can add a block in your blog post or a page is using this simple icons the shortcut icons now as you can see here in these shortcut icons you have three different blocks you have here an image block then we have media and text and you have here pull code. You can use this mostly use shortcut to add block inside your post. Now just after that you can also add a block by just pressing and enter. Now just press enter key on your keyboard when you are in the standard paragraph block to insert a new paragraph block. So as you can see I'm in the standard paragraph. When I press enter this will add another paragraph just after this paragraph right here. Now the last one and very easy to add a block in your page or a post is using forward slash. So when you click inside the standard paragraph block and press a forward slash like this, you can see we have different options to add block inside your post, right? You can see a list of blocks appears. This list enables you to add a block without moving your hand away from keyboard. So using just a forward slash, you can add block inside this post. Now these are the different way you can add block in your Gutenberg editor. Now just out of that, on the right side of the screen, right here, you can see each block on the block editor menus has options. So you can configure display setting for your content, such as font size. You can see here we have font size, then a font color, the background color, and a block width and a height. Each block has its own set of options. So for the paragraph, you can see the font size, the drop gap, the color setting for the background and the text color, and the advanced option. Now using this setting, you can change the appearance of the block content. Now let's see how you can change an appearance of the paragraph using this setting on the right side of the screen. Right here, you can see each block on the block editor menus has options. So you can configure display setting for your content such as font size, font color, you can see here a background color and the text color. You can also change width and height as well. So each block has its own set of options. So we'll understand all these settings one by one. So let's start with the paragraph. When you click on this paragraph, you can see we just selected a paragraph here. Now let me just put few text lines in this paragraph. So I'm going to just open a lorem and just get these lines, copy it and paste it inside this blog post like this. Now what I want, I want to change its font size. So I'm going to simply just select this blog like this and I'm going to change it using this simple font size. I can make it large or you can just make it larger or you can specify your custom font size as well. Just select here custom and just change it whatever you want. right? Now, if you want, you can reset this paragraph setting as well by clicking on this reset button. So when I click on this reset, this will back to this default setting. 
Now, before we take a look at all these settings, I wanted to talk about this beautiful more setting right here on the top of this block. Now, in this setting, the first one is the change block type. You can see when you hover on it, you can see a message change block type or style. When you click on it, this option allows you to change the type of block you're using. For example, if you want to change this block and just swap it with code block, then you can do that from this option as well. So let me just click on it and you can see we have different options here. And now I want to swap this paragraph to this codes. When I click on it, you can see this paragraph is now changed to the code. You can see here. You can identify your block using this setting here. Now in this block, we have currently selected a code block. You can do the same and just change this code to paragraph as well, like this. Just out of that, you can see here, we also have here an option, which is align text left. When you hold on it, you can see change text alignment. If you want, you can change your alignment of this text as well. Now, if you choose this align text left, this block formatting option position a text within a paragraph block to the left side of the page. By default, the first align text left is selected. If you want to center this text, you can select this align text center. So when you click on this block formatting option, this will change the position of the text within the paragraph block and this will center all the text to the paragraph. So when I click on it, you can see all the text is centered to the paragraph. And just after that, we have here align text right. Now this block formatting option position a text within a paragraph block to the right side of the paragraph. So when you click on it, you can see all the text is aligned to the right side of the paragraph. Now just out of that, you can see in the paragraph, the first two words is bold. You can bold your text using this bold setting. So for example, I want to bold this text. I'm going to select it and just select this bold, right? So. Using this text formatting option, this will change selected text within a paragraph block to the bold. Or you can say you can make your text darker using this setting. Now let me just align this to the center, right? Now just start with that, just beside this bold, you have italic. Now this text formatting option changes the selected text within a paragraph block to an italic slatted font. For example, let's say I want to change it this text to italic. I'm going to click on this option italic. You can see the italic setting is applied to this text and you can see the font is slightly slatted. Now just beside it, just beside this italic, we have link. Now this link formatting option changes the selected text within a paragraph block to a hyperlink. The text refers can click or visit the new web page or website in their browser. For example, let's say if you wanted to make user to click on this unchange, you can select it and just click on this link. And now in this area, you can specify an URL of your website or of your different articles, right? Now, just out of that, just beside this link, right here, you can see more rich text control. Just click on it. And here we have three options. Now, the first one is inline code. So for example, if you want to add a code on the same line, you can simply use this inline code. And then, if you want to use an image on the same line where your cursor is, you can just choose this inline image. And then we have strike through. Now this text formatting option changes selected text within a paragraph block to display a line through it. You can see here a demo. Now, for example, if I just select this electronic and just select this strike through, you can see a line through this text, right? Now just after that, just beside this rich text control you can see here a more option just click on it now inside this more option you have hide block setting now clicking this option remove the setting panel on the right side of the editor post screen so when you click on this option this will remove this screen this will give you a larger space to work with then we have duplicate now clicking this option duplicate the block you are currently using and insert it below the current block for example if i just click on it you can see this will duplicate the same paragraph down here. Now, just after that, the third option is insert before. We know that why we use it. To insert a block before this paragraph, up here, you can use this insert before option. And if you want to add a block just down here, just after this paragraph, you can use this insert after. It's very simple. Now, 
just down here we have edit as html now let's say you want to edit this post as an html you can choose this edit as html option by clicking this option changes the block editor to an html editor so you can view and create the content in html code if you are comfortable with html you can choose this option but if you want to visually create this block just leave it as it is now then we have add to reusable block now this setting is very important by clicking this option you can save the block you are currently using to your library of blocks that you can reuse in other places on your site this feature is helpful when you create blocks on one page and want to use the same block on other page when you create a reusable block it's stored on the block menu so for example if you wanted to reuse this paragraph in other page or you can say in other post you can just click on this add to reuse block and save this paragraph as it is so you can use it on your next post as well just after that this is a group which we already learned why we use it and the last we have a remove block now by clicking this option remove the block from the editor post screen now keep in mind use this feature carefully because when you remove a block it's gone unless you save it as a reusable block so keep in mind for example let's say if i just remove this block i'm going to click on it and just select this more setting and when i click on this remove block this block is actually gone you can't find that block again unless you save it as a reusable block right now once we know that how you can change the appearance of your paragraph using this more setting let's look at the additional setting you will get with the block setting right here now you've seen that how you can change a font size using this font setting now let's look at the next setting which is drop cap a drop cap can be applied to the paragraph of the text to make the first letter of the paragraph much larger and bolder than the rest of the text within the block you often see this method used in magazine and newsletter articles for example let's say if i just select this paragraph and just on the setting drop cap you can see the first letter is much larger than the rest of the text and you will get the magazine like feel right now just down here you can see a color setting now here you can change the background color of this paragraph for example let's say you want to change this background to red you can click on it you can change the background of this color as well as you can change this text as well by using this text color right You can also specify your custom color as well by clicking on this custom color option. And to clear this background, just clear using this clear button. Like this. And just down here, we have advanced option. In this advanced option, if you wanted to add an additional CSS class to this paragraph, you can do that using this option. So using this advanced, you can specify a class to this paragraph. So you can change the appearance of this paragraph using a CSS. In the next lecture, we'll understand the image block and its settings. So, I will see you in the next one.